Can we make contacts with this tiny little antenna? Well, we're gonna find out today on KMRD Radio Stuff. What's happening guys? My name is Mike. Today we're gonna be taking a look at the MFJ1898. This is a cool little telescopic, it's kind of a miniature screwdriver antenna. You screw the, the whip in here, a little telescopic whip. And the way this works, it just raises and lowers by you, uh, you tighten or, or loosen this little threaded part here and it just kind of locks on. And uh, there's a little kind of measuring device on there. It's rated for, this says uh, 40 meters to six meters. The website says 60 meters to six meters. Uh, not sure which one is right, but we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna throw it on the analyzer and take a look and uh, see what kind of SWRs we can get out of this thing and uh, see if we can make any contacts with it. Uh, it's going for about 150 bucks on the MFJ site, which I think is kind of a little high for something like this. Uh, and it doesn't come with anything else. This is what you get. It doesn't come with uh, any way to mount it. So uh, you, you'll need a mag mount or a tripod or we're gonna be using the k murder depth spike today. Uh, you gotta supply your own radio wires. So uh, interesting or interested to see what this thing will do or what it won't do. So I'm gonna go set this up and put it on the analyzer. I'm gonna tune up all the bands. I'm gonna tune up seven th uh, 40 meters through six meters and we will see what the SWR looks like and then we'll get on the air and hopefully make some contacts with it. Okay, so I gotta say setting this thing up is pretty darn easy. It took me maybe 10 minutes to, to set it up with the uh, death spike. I did have to put a lot of counterpoise wires on it. And I don't really attribute that to this antenna. Uh, pretty much any vertical antenna of this style, where I'm at, the, the soil conductivity is really bad. So I have three 10 meter uh, radial wires and then I have 15 two and a half meter radial wires on here and uh, was able to get it set up pretty darn fast, 10 minutes maybe. And I'm running about 50 feet of uh, Messi and Poloni Ultraflex 7 Sahara coax. Uh, and I'm pretty darn impressed with the SWR that I was able to get uh, with all these wires, but you do need to bring all these wires. So taking a look at 40 meters, not the highest bandwidth, but not terrible. Uh, we got 1.09 to one. That's pretty awesome. 30 meters, we're looking uh, about 1.39, under 1.4 across, well, the tiny little band that uh, 30 meters is, but hey, it did it. On 20 meters, looking really good, uh, 1.09 to one again, at uh, where I was tuning at 14, 2.1-ish, uh, and probably under one point, it, I, could, I could probably move it over a little bit uh, and probably get it 1.5, 1.4 to one across the entire band, so that's great. 17 meters, uh, the dip is at 1.2 to one. We're pretty much 1.2, 1.3 across the whole band, so that's great. 15 meters, their dip is at 1.16 to one. Again, 1 1.2, 1.3 across the entire band. Pretty, pretty uh, good bandwidth on these higher frequencies. Looking at 12 meters, pretty much 1.1 across the whole band. 10 meters, we had a nice good dip, 1.00 to one. At 28724, we could we could shorten that and get it down a little bit more into the, the digital portion, the phone portion, but the entire band, all ginormous bandwidth that is uh, 10 meters, we're on under, gosh, maybe 1.3 to one across the whole darn band, that is amazing. And six meters, not the greatest, but not bad. Uh, the dip is at 51.7 megahertz. We got 1.43 to one. Uh, and again, we could probably shorten this a little bit uh, towards the phone portion, the digital portion, all that stuff, uh, CW, and get that 1.4 down towards that 50, 51 megahertz. So uh, this thing tunes up pretty darn good. I'm pretty impressed with this. So as I like to say, none of that's gonna to amount to a can of Frank's beans unless we can get on the air. So I'm gonna hop on 20 meters, cause well, that's my favorite band. I'm gonna throw my call sign out and do a little parks on the air, see what we can get. Kilo zero, Kilo Papa Sugar. Kilo zero, Kilo Papa Sugar, you are five by five in Texas. You yes, sell your five five in Colorado, five five Charlie Oscar. How about a mailbag Monday? Hey, how about it, man? It was uh, that was that was an hour and almost two hours ago? <laughs> I'll look for your video then. K zero PPS. November X ray three alpha. November X ray three alpha. Strong five by seven into Huntsville State Park. QS 
QSL, you are 5959 into Virginia, QSL. Whiskey One, Radio Charlie Papa. Whiskey One, Radio Charlie Papa, 5x8. Hey, I got your mountain five and seven here in Georgia. Golf Alpha, thanks much. 73. Whiskey Echo 8, Uniform Sierra November. Whiskey Echo 8, Uniform Sierra November, 5x8. QSL, you are 5'9 Virginia. Kilo Charlie 3, India Echo Uniform. Kilo Charlie 3, India Echo Uniform, 4x3, 43. Thank you for the 4x3, Mike. Uh, really appreciate your YouTube channel. Thanks for being out there and activating. You have yourself a good day. 73, who's the park to park? Yeah, Kilo Charlie 8, Lima Uniform, Bravo. Whoops. Lima, uh, Kilo Charlie 8, Lima Uniform Bravo, got you 5-6 and a 3-0-1-9. There she is, Alpha Delta 2, Charlie Delta, how are you? How you doing, Mike? You're 5-5, <laughs> New Jersey, QSL. Roger, you're 5-3, Texas, thanks for hunting, good to talk to you. November 5, Mike Charlie Tango Portable Zero. Got you about a 3x3 three three into Texas. Roger the QRP 10 watts into Charlie Oscar. Thanks for uh, getting in the log. I appreciate you hunting. 73. Kilo Oscar 4, Golf Alpha Romeo. Kilo Oscar 4, Golf Alpha Romeo. Got you a 5x5 five five into Texas. Roger, Roger, got your 55, 55, five, five, Mike, South Kakalaki. Have a good one, buddy, 73. <laughs> Roger, the South Kakalaki. <laughs> Have a good one, 73. <laughs> they talk different down there. QRZ, Kilo 8, Microbio Delta, parks on the air. November Echo 4, Tango November. Well, there he is. What's going on, Walt? How are you? I'm uh, doing pretty well. Got a Jeez. good signal today. You're about a 5.7 here in East Tennessee, QSL. Yeah, you're probably one of the better signals I've heard today so far. You're uh, you're you're almost five nine. I'll give you a good strong five eight here. Okay, yeah, you sound real nice and clear today. All right, I'll let you go work some more there. Good to hear you again. It's been a little while. Well, that uh, was not too bad. Um, I've got to I've got to cut this short. I got to get back home. The the AC's down, so we got to go get that fixed. Um, Thirty two contacts, uh, just really quick. Let's see, actually 31, because I made one contact before I started filming. So we started at 2148, and now the last contact was 2207. So in, uh, what is that, 19 minutes? We don't do maths on live streams. Uh, but yeah, that should be 19 minutes. I got 31 contacts uh, just <laughs> sitting here. Uh, the bands uh, look to be in pretty good shape. We're, we're getting some good signals. Lots of I didn't get a single five nine. I think Walt was the was the best signal there with the five eight there. Uh, lots of five seven. Some guys were weak, but we were able to pull them out. Worked a few QRP stations. Uh, so I'm gonna say this antenna is kind of a win. Uh, it's nice and compact. It, the, the thing is, it doesn't come with the tripod or anything. So at 150 bucks, and then you got to get something to hold it up. And then you got to get all your 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 radials and stuff. I don't know. I I think if they if they drop the price to like a hundred bucks, maybe included some kind of tripod. I don't know. What I, I'd be curious to see what what you guys think because like certainly for for this kind of antenna, like a Wolf River coils, you can get for like hundred and fifty bucks. Now. Uh, it's not going to be as thin, but it's pretty much going to be darn near as, as compact. So that's the competition. Huh. But then you have to tune it. You need an analyzer. You don't need it, but it's certainly going to help. And I don't know. There's, there's, there is definitely a place for vertical antennas like this. Like if you can't put up an NFED, if you don't have all this room, you know, maybe like if you're in an apartment or something and you can go out and you know, just play some radio in a, in a little field out wherever, wherever the, uh, if you've got some grounds at the apartment or something, or if you're traveling, you know, if you want to try, it is very light. There is, there is something to say about that. Uh, and it does work. Got great SWR on, on all the bands. So I will, I will give this a partial K at MRD seal of approval because I think it's too expensive. But uh, that's just me. So let me get, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Drop your thoughts there. I'd love to hear from you guys. And we will see you again on another episode of K&M Radio Stuff. 73, guys.